Hi, I'm Mike Shea with Baltimore Grassroots Media. Could you uh, talk about how you were able to rule out the, the controlled demolition or any controlled demolition hypothesis uh, and, and also address whether you looked at um, some of the um, studies that Stephen Jones did about uh, the evidence of uh, thermate um, possibly being used to uh, cut through the beams? Yeah, as I said before, we, we, we conducted this investigation with an open mind and um, then we decided on those of the possible hypothesis that would be really credible enough for us to evaluate further and controlled demolition was one of them and the way we proceeded to do that is of course there are many ways we could do it uh, you know we could have done it the way controlled demolition is actually done in practice where charges are placed on multiple columns uh, which would imply a huge amount of charges to be placed we instead decided what is the worst case scenario meaning what is the minimum amount of charge we could use to build this bring building down and when we looked at that we said well if column 79 is, is in fact what caused this building to come down under fire let's assume we have a, a charge that can be placed directly on column 79 which of course most people would not know is the critical column um, just because that was not we found that found that out after the analysis of, that we did so assume that we actually can do that and as a result of that we found that even the smallest charge would lead to an incredibly large sound half a mile away in an urban setting which would be as loud as a gunshot blast as loud as an engine of a jet plane when it's flying and as and ten times louder than being in directly in front of speakers at a rock concert even the smallest charge would lead to an incredibly large sound, an incredibly large sound. They told me just to wait here. It's just semi-staging here. See if I can help. That's what I'm doing. They won't let me go any closer. No one can go in to get the people out. There's small explosions still going on. When we reached the eighth or the sixth floor, the landing that we were standing on gave way. There was an explosion, and the landing gave way. Yeah, here's one of the guys who can tell you I'm okay. All right. Here, hold on. You want to call, you, you want to call your mother or something? We just heard another explosion. They're handing out gloves and masks. The consensus is it's too unsafe to go in there. Just gonna wait here until they bring some people out. I was trapped in there when, when both buildings came down. All this time, I'm hearing all type of explosions. All this time, I'm hearing explosions. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. Even the smallest charge would lead to an incredibly large sound. There's small explosions still going on. 